hey guys and welcome back to another video it's your girl michelle if you're new to my channel consider subscribing i feel like i haven't did a hygiene haul in a while so i wanted to sit down and get a little personal intimate with you guys and also just stress how important it is for self-care and hygiene and just self-love overall it's really a big thing for me and i'm actually learning to really take time out for myself some of these products that i do have are staple products and some of them are new pickups it's always good to try new things just to see how it works i have a problem with shopping so that's probably the main reason but anyway that's what we're going to be talking about today so if you guys are interested and you want to stay and see what, all the gems that i picked up make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and also today's post notification shout out goes to april howman i appreciate you so much thank you so much for the sweet comment i'm gonna ramble i'm not gonna talk too much we're gonna jump right into the first product okay so the first product that i have here is body wash by Corel this scent is white peach and orange blossom and i really really love caress my staple product would have to be dove i'm always a dove type of girl i just feel like it's so gentle light but yet refreshing i do love a good body wash after i use a, a bar of soap i love the way this smells it has like a really soft clean floral smell and what i loved about this the most is that my skin didn't feel dry afterwards it felt like it was actually putting moisture onto my skin the smell just resonates it just lingers i want something that gives me longevity something that is long lasting something that's going to make me feel feel myself this definitely does it's not too strong a little goes a long way so i like to use this with my loofer you just need a few drops if you're going to get suds and you're going to be feeling real good afterwards sis. this is another bath and shower gel this is new for me i only tried this twice and i love the results the brand is Bavaria. the flavor is sweet almond oil presentation is what got me i walked past it and then i double stepped and i was like let me see what this is about once i opened it and smelled it it smells so good oh my god it's just so refreshing i was a little, little bit hesitant only because if i can't pronounce something then i'm not gonna try it i need to know what i'm saying what i'm putting in my body on my body but it was a1 my skin felt super good it's 100 vegan if you're not really into strong you have allergies and you're really sensitive then i wouldn't recommend this but listen now i washed with this before i did this video i can still smell it lingering if it's only gonna resonate in the shower and then once i rinse off dry off i don't smell it then it's not it's not gonna work next i went in and i got me some barber scissors now these say that they're for beards right but it ain't for no beard this is an investment for me third time doing it but we're gonna use this for the lady parts downstairs now if you guys haven't watched my video where i went to get a brazilian wax then i'm gonna insert that either over here over here check that out i'm just gonna stick to the basics and i'm gonna diy i don't have time for pain and agony just to make myself look good and feel good down there so before shaving i feel like it's really beneficial to cut first so that you can prevent nicks or cuts because sometimes if you just let it get real crazy and it gets bushy we don't talk it because we're adults here sometimes it gets out of control gets out of whack and it needs a little grooming i find that step one would be to cut first step two would be to shave it makes it so much easier you get in you get out and it still looks real cute okay following up with my razors now i'm not really somebody who obsesses over razors that's not something that i feel like i always need to change give me a cheap razor that get, has a blade on it that's gonna cut and take the hair off under here and over here and on my legs and we're good to go but do notice that sometimes when you use inexpensive razors you're prone to get more cuts nicks and scrapes because the razor is not as sharp it's not as sleek and if you're rushing and you're not really shaving it the proper way you will end up cutting yourself i have really really sensitive skin all over you know when you just delicate you just have to use the best of the best okay i decided that i wanted to upgrade a little bit i wanted to try these um bic solil i don't know if i'm saying it right but i see these all the time these are the sensitive ones i really chose this because it says it has aloe vera in it and aloe vera is the goat you guys already know it's good for the hair it's good for the skin it's good for the body so i know it's gonna be good externally over here it's gonna get the job done again if you have really sensitive skin then i suggest doing using anything that's sensitive okay baby in this pack you get three of them and it does say comfort chilled it's long lasting blades that's another reason why i liked it because after a few you know a few uses i throw them out because they start to get rusty or whatever the case and i feel like you always want to make sure you, you use a new razor to prevent any type of bacteria but this gives you longer lasting uses so it's a win-win situation next we have some good oh uh, shea moisture olive and green tea bath body and massage oil with avocado let me tell you if you watch my other hygiene haul i have the pink one from shea moisture they were out because everybody just want to get on the wave like me but i decided to go with this one and actually like this one even better it has such a beautiful scent such a wonderful glow so if you're trying to detox you're trying to stress you had a long day and you just want to unwind in the bath pour a little bit of this in your bath when you get out your body's gonna feel like silk it is so relaxing the smell is just beautiful 
and also if you're like somebody like me who's always tense and up here and I need massages, I always wanna get a nice rub-a-dub-dub, -dub. get your man to, you know, heat this up for a few minutes, it literally glides onto your skin, it works into your skin, it doesn't sit on top, it literally like works through your muscles. It's also an anti-aging, super duper moisturizing, so I definitely recommend this. You can use this for everyday use, you don't have to use it just for the bath. Shea Moisture definitely stepped it up with this. So next I have this Nature's Beauty Lavender Chamomile Sleep Body Butter. This is clutch right here, okay? Let me tell you, I went into Walgreens. My intentions wasn't even to go pick up any item. I walked past this and it was just staring at me and I was just like, keep walking. But then I double backed and I just read it. Then I opened it up because you guys know how I feel about smelling things. If it smells good, I'm gonna buy it. When I tell you guys this is bomb, you don't even need to use this for, for sleep. You can use this after shower. I use this every day. I just got this, I wanna say like about a week ago. The smell is amazing. It has such a like a creamy consistency, but it's lightweight. It almost smells like Johnson to Johnson lavender baby lotion. If you guys know, then you know. It's really light, but just so refreshing, especially when you want to get a good night's sleep. Of course, you know lavender relaxes the body, but lavender and chamomile together, you are going to thank me. When I apply this and I go outside, so many people compliment me, and they're like, oh, what are you wearing? And little did they know, your girl just got some body butter on. No perfume, nothing. That's how strong the smell is and so nice and refreshing. You don't even need to put a perfume on with it. This is one of my favorites. This is bio oil. I've been using bio oil on and off for about two years now. I didn't really know what it was used for, but I think I seen a celebrity post it on Instagram somewhere and I was like, I need this. This is so good, especially for African-American women, melanated women I in particular suffer with a lot of hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tones, especially underneath the arm area, the knees and the elbows. I've been using this for about two years. Like I said, I have seen a tremendous difference in my overall skin as far as evening out my skin tone, especially underneath my arms, because that was something that made me feel really self-conscious when you know you have darkening areas on certain parts, you don't want to wear certain things because that area stands out. It's also great for stretch marks. So if you're somebody who's, you know, with a child or even postpartum and you're trying to remove or lessen the stretch marks, I recommend this. Hence why your girl didn't really have stretch marks. Shout out to this mommy on of three kids. Barely have any because I was using this all the time. It's also an anti-aging oil to keep you looking beautiful, okay? I'm really a big fan of this. It is a little bit pricey. This is a two ounce. They also have it in a bigger jar. But if you are suffering with any type of dark scars or marks that you just can't get rid of and they're so annoying they make you feel self-conscious i suggest you get you some bio next i have some good old honey pot now if you guys don't know about honey pot i suggest you pause the video and do your research okay because i've been talking about honey pot in my other hygiene videos i have the wash okay i have the sanitary napkins and now i done went and got me some canty liners honey pot is by far my favorite product only because it is so natural. It's organic, all of the good things that you need for your body. It doesn't contain any harsh chemicals that can throw your body off, that can throw your pH off. And I'll be honest, I'm not too big on panty liners, okay? I stopped using panty liners a long time ago because my OBGYN said that wearing too many panty liners can cause bacteria being that. Bacteria thrives off of like dark areas, moisture and stuff like that if you're not changing your panty liners frequently. But this is a different type of formula. This is a game changer. What I love about Honey Pot the most is the cooling effect that it gives me so when you apply this on it's gonna give you like a cool peppermint tingling feeling which helps to eliminate odor it prevents vaginosis any type of bacteria balances your pH prevents menstrual cramps and any type of discomfort during your menstrual cycle it just keeps you feeling clean and refreshed all day the flavor is mint lavender and aloe so you know those three are just gonna give you that real nice soothing that that you know that that nice feeling the tingling sensation only lasts for a few minutes so don't worry if you do feel it it's a 30 pack so i definitely recommend this if you have not tried the honey pot uh, feminine wash go get you some okay they got it for sensitive and then they have the honey flavor your muffin is gonna thank you i'm telling you so next i followed up with the honey pot calming lavender rose panty spray now i'm not really big on sprays and stuff i feel like if you need to spray something down there you might as well just get in the shower and clean that cootie cat right but in the event that you're at the gym you're at work you're on your menstrual period and you can't get into the shower this is definitely something that will benefit you it's such a light refreshing lavender smell and it gets the job done not only is it good for your downstairs area but you can spray it in your socks and you can use it underneath your arm so it's a win-win situation it's portable carry it around in your bag it's cruelty free talc free and it's plant-based I swear by this I just spray just to spray just cuz Next, I have my Schmitz Lavender Tip Sensitive Skin Formula Natural Deodorant. 
a new pickup for me because usually I'm a Dove girl. I've been using Dove ever since puberty done set in. Powder Dove has never failed your girl. I have tried Degree. Degree just left me musty. Secret and told it all because it just didn't do anything. I tried the spray-ons, the roll-ons. Nothing gave me the satisfaction like Dove powder until I tried this. I found this bad boy in Marshalls, okay? This was only $3.99 and I wanted to try something a little bit different. What I like about this is that as soon as you apply it underneath your arm, it melts with, you know, depending on your body temperature. But it smells like lavender all day, literally. I, I tested myself to see because I'm like, they capping. Like, what's, what's, what's the hype about this? But I literally was running around, sweating, and even when I went to go take a shower later that night, I still smell fresh. I didn't have any type of must or any type of like tartness at all. I have to add this to the collection, okay? So next, I just picked up some Equate. This is the off brand, y'all, because you don't need to spend no. Listen, you gotta save your coins if you're gonna shop. You're gonna shop wisely because the stuff does add up. These are my exfoliating rounds, hyperallergenic. These are something that I feel like we all need to have. It's great for cleansers. It's great for removing your nail polish, any type of like oils, whatever. You can remove your makeup with this. I really like this. This was only $1.99. Get some cotton balls, Q-tips. You know, those threes are a must. Now we're going to follow up with got the witch hazel witch hazel is my staple product when it comes to my skin it's so good for uneven skin tone it keeps your face looking smooth it removes a lot of dirt it removes makeup it just gives you that brightening tightening feeling towards your face and it just keeps you looking like you're supposed to look sis okay I always get this one and the lavender scent. I have it in a regular just no non-scented one it's alcohol free I really love this but I tried something new I need y'all to really tune in because y'all probably don't think I'm crazy after this, but after you take your shower, you wanna take a little bit of this after you done floss and you done got the backside area right. You're gonna take a little bit of this and you're gonna swipe. I know it's TMI, but we all adults. You're gonna swipe and I promise you, you wanna have a scent coming back from that back door at all. Even after you take a little, you know, you do what you hand in your business, you got a little dingleberry back there. You can't get to a shower, you don't have a wipe, there's nothing in sight. Keep these with you and just wipe, I promise you. You wanna have a scent. If you have a romantic night, you about to pull up on your boo, your boo about to come to your house, y'all about to do what y'all about to do. You wanna smell real good. Next, I have some aloe vera facial wipes. I picked these babies up at Marshalls for about $2.99. I love facial wipes because I suffer with greasy skin. My face just be just be disrespectful, okay? I don't care how many times I wash my face, cleanse my face, dry my face. Don't even put no oil on it. That sebum is pulling up. And before I know it, my face just looks like a grease monkey. So I keep these on deck at all times. It's a good picker up or refresher if you feel like you're out and about and your face is greasy or oily. It works really good for taking off your makeup. If you have any type of stubborn, waterproof mascara like I have on, it's really hard to take it off if you don't use any type of oil but these do the job they're really soft they're not tinted so they're really gentle on your skin and 2.99 for two packs so you get your bang for your buck next i have these erase your face two cloth microfiber towels believe it or not i picked these up at five below i went in there for whatever i went in there for and i can't i saw these and I was like, well, let me check these out. Again, I wear a lot of mascara daily and liner. It's a reusable makeup removing cloth for sensitive skin, water activated. So all you have to do is take it out. Of course, you want to wash it before you use it, but you put it underneath a little bit of warm water and it literally feels so soft. It removes your makeup like that. I was like, let me see if this really works. I was shook. It took my makeup off and everything and left my face feeling soft. And what I love about it is that it's really, really, really gentle, especially if you have any breakouts or you have irritation. You don't have to worry about your face getting inflamed and getting red. Super, super nice. I like anything that's microfiber. You get two of these for $5. I was definitely impressed with these. Next, we have some perfume now. I know y'all probably like, well, where's the, where's the box? Where's the top? Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all about that. I got this at five below as well. When it comes to my fragrances, I am a little bougie. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna keep it real. I like what I like. I wanna smell expensive, okay? But this smell right here, this is called Paris Sparkle. I just happened to be looking at the perfumes or whatever and I sprayed this, I fell in love with this one. Unfortunately, this was a tester, so I couldn't get the whole box. I said, well, you know what? I'm gonna get this. Sis gave me this for a dollar. It was originally five dollars and I left out the store with a dollar, but this smell just makes me feel so sexy. It makes me feel so mature. It just smells so, it's so pretty. If you ever smell something that just smells so good, you just want to keep inhaling because it smells so nice. It's so pleasant. 
it was a dollar okay so next we have the eyebrow razor this is good for your eyebrows this is good for your bikini area this is good if you have any type of peach fuzz going on i swear by this i picked this up at my local beauty supply store it's only a dollar the reason why i love this eyebrow razor is because if you're somebody who likes to make sure your eyebrows is on fleek this is so good if you just want to maintain the shape of your eyebrows without waxing without threading it really just makes your face look really clean when you shape underneath and on top of your eyebrows it's really good for like i said your bikini line if you just want to shape it up a little bit put a little letter or initial in it and no, i'm just kidding you know sometimes we have a little bit of hair right here a little bit of hair under here even right here this is very 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 useful and it's only a dollar this y'all know what this is this is pretty much self-explanatory if you don't own blistex if you never use blistex then i don't think that we can rock okay because the colder weather is coming i make sure to have three or four of these bad boys on deck i don't know if i'm the only one but when it gets cold my lips get crusty they get dry and i can't stand it you you know when your lips get dry comment down below you start seeing extra skin then you could pick the skin off that's what it'd be like for me in the winter time summertime my lips be I don't suffer with nothing. What I love about this, again, it has that cool, tingly peppermint feeling, but it also gives you that glossy look as well. It's good for any type of cold sores, which y'all shouldn't even be having, but shit happens. Any type of irritation that you may have around your mouth, I love this. This works the best for me. It keeps the moisture in the lips. I don't know if I showed you guys this in my last one, but you guys know I'm really big on lipsticks and lippies. Love this. I paid a dollar for this. It's a lip gel, so it's not really thin. I know I use a lot of lip glosses that are really, the consistency is really thin, and you're going to have to keep reapplying it, reapplying it. Mm -mm, not with this, boo boo. This literally lasts me a good two hours before I have to apply it again, and that's what I like. I don't have time to keep reapplying. I want my lip gloss to be popping. Not only is the smell really nice, but it's infused with vitamin E, so vitamin E really keeps the lips on point, okay? Got this at my local beauty supply store. You probably can find this anywhere. Any type of lip gel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Last but not least, I have my Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using this since I've been natural, which has been over about for about seven years now. On and off because I'm just like a product hair junkie and I can't make up my mind of what I like, but I wanted to go back to my roots. I wanted to stick to what I know, what works, and this is so beneficial. The smell is amazing. If you're somebody who has really, really dry hair, I suggest doing this. You always wanna make sure to put a leave-in in your hair before you apply any other products. Not only do I love this, but it, it literally makes my hair feel so moisturized and it doesn't dry it out. A lot of leave-in products really don't give me the moisture that I need. My hair literally sucks it up so fast because I have low porosity hair. But not with this, it's really thick and creamy. It literally melts into my hair. It really helps to give you shine. It helps to strengthen your hair, protect against breakage, it hydrates it, and it contains argan oil. So anything with argan oil, I really, 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 really love. So if you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner, I definitely recommend Cantu and it's very affordable. Right, guys, so this pretty much wraps up my hygiene haul. If you guys found some products that you want to try, also comment down below some good products that you think I should try. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Don't forget to click the bell. That being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.